Hello my lovely Virgos and a very warm welcome to your April 2020 horoscope. Now this month is somewhat more peaceful in the heavens than it has been for the last several months and the next few months don't worry it's going to get busy again and hectic as Venus goes retro next month and then Mercury retro but more about that in future videos. Let me break down this somewhat less intense month for you, my lovely Virgos. On the fourth of the month, Venus is coming here into your 10th house. Venus has to do with love, has to do with money, has to do with value. And in the 10th house, this has to do with your work, your career, what you do. This is now encouraging you and saying to you, are you loving what you're doing? If not, how can you change it? How can you move into a career that you do love, that you do enjoy? And if you're in a career that you don't enjoy, and maybe you have to stay there at the moment for financial or other reasons, how can I bring my love into it? What can I do to bring my heart and my passion into what I'm doing? How can I see it differently? What new perspective can I gain? Are there some nice people I'm working with? What are the benefits? Look for the benefits. Even if there's only one or two, look for them and they'll begin to grow. Something will begin to change because Venus here is all about finding enjoyment in your day-to-day -day life where you're spending most of your time. I love what I'm doing, so I'm very, very fortunate and very blessed and I'm every day grateful for it. I have to take felt like it took an awful long time to find so focus once again Venus is about gratitude focus on what you do have and then you're starting with something you've got something in your pot yes if the pot's empty you don't know what you're going to mix with it but you've got something already in the pot then you can add something to it on the eighth of the month we've got a full moon happening in your money area so this could be the fruition of a project, could be some money coming to you, maybe something you've been waiting for for a long time, maybe somebody paying off a debt, something they owe, or you paying off something and feeling free. It's also shining a light on your spending hab habits. Are you overspending? Are you being too careful? What do you need to do maybe to create an extra income? Maybe it's time to take some action and start that business. Start writing your book. Start the play. Whatever it is, it's an impetus always for change with a full moon. Uh, so it's an, it's an opportunity to change how you see money, how you see abundance. Don't look at how other people are doing. Look at how am I doing and how do I feel? What makes me feel abundant? For me, I feel abundant when I stand straight. There's something about standing tall, regally, that just makes you feel good. So think about the things that make you feel good about yourself. And this will really help you, believe it or not, in your financial situation. The better you feel about you and what you have to offer, and what you're excited to share, the more people are going to come knocking at your door to pay you for it. On the 12th of the month, we've got Mercury coming into your ninth house, joining, uh, you know what, that's not, is that true? Sorry, Mercury should have been there. We've got Mercury on the 12th coming into your eighth house, joining the sun. So this is an opportunity to go more deeply into a relationship. Maybe you've been skirting around the surface. Maybe there's some issues to be discussed. Maybe it's time to get more intimate, to bear your soul. Not to put on an act, but to tell the truth and to say it how it really is for you. And sometimes when you're willing to do that, you can create a real closeness with somebody that you couldn't have had before, the honest conversation. It's a good time as well for sorting out your finances generally. Anything to do with loans, pensions, taxes, all those kinds of things, good time for wrapping them up and sorting them out. On the 20th of the month, we've got the sun 
coming into your ninth house and on the 23rd a lovely new moon in the ninth joining Uranus. This is a wonderful time for travel, for planning a trip, going on a trip, maybe going spontaneously, good time for doing business overseas, good time for negotiating maybe an international agreement or deal. It's an opportunity for learning something new, expanding your knowledge and to take your spiritual path, your, your quest for meaning onto a new level. So maybe you're going to write something, maybe you'll go on a course, on a retreat, you might even run the retreat. Whatever it is, it'll be a desire here to really fulfill that inner longing of yours and to take some action. Because of the new moon, it can bring you a new beginning. So I wish you a wonderful month. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, subbing. And I forgot to mention that Mars is in the sixth all month, so a good time for physical exercise, physical energy, using the physical energy, uh, building some muscles, um, and really if you're getting emotional for just going for a walk, getting away from it all, and then coming back with a fresh perspective. Just thought I'd add that in there for you lovely Virgos. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.